I was in so much tears, I kind of like felt like something was happening, but I just refused to believe it because as you see my story, I'm a person that overcomes. Former NFL player Junior Gallette is calling out the NFL when it comes to pay discrimination. I've been blackballed since speaking out on pay discrimination in 2018. In 2017, I played uh, every game, all 16 games. I was never on the injury report. I played well enough for the Redskins, the team formerly known as the Redskins, the Washington football team. They offered me a two-year deal. I had already seen my teammate, white guy from Stanford, Trent Murphy. He was coming off a torn ACL in a season where he didn't even play. He didn't play a single down. He was also suspended for four games for PEDs while missing the whole year. He was three year, 22 mil plus the five million-ish yeah. signing That's bonus. Cool. You were how much? 500K signing bonus, two years, four million. Wow. He says he and other black players have been offered far less than some of their white counterparts who have had extensive injuries. Cam Newton's 31 years old. He was the former MVP of the NFL, meaning he was the best that year. This was three, four years ago. Veterans minimum, he's, he had to sign for that. Why did he have to sign for that? When Peyton Manning needed a spine fusion, in 2010, I think he received about 56 million in guaranteed money. The outside linebacker overcame the depths of poverty. Growing up in Port-au-Prince, Haiti, bathing in a small bin with family members, arriving in America as a small kid, only speaking Haitian Creole and not a word of English, to becoming one of the New Orleans Saints captains, signing a $48 million deal. In 2015, Gallette signed with what is now known as the Washington football team. He felt compelled to use his platform to make a statement. We're about to play the Oakland Raiders on a Monday night game and I was locked arms with a coach. And I said, you know what? I feel like taking a knee. I don't want to lock arms. I want to take a knee. And I said it out loud, unwillingly, just, you know, not knowing I said it. And he said, don't you dare. You know, he looked at me and said, don't you dare. And at that moment, I, I felt so weak to this day. You know, I feel so weak that I didn't stand up for police brutality. But now that I see what I went through, I'm very grateful that Kaepernick did what he did and stood up for what he believed. After his 2017 season with Washington, they'd separate over the proposed deal. I said, it's unfair. I'm not playing for this deal. Why, why do I have to play for this deal when I performed at a high level? No. I said that the Redskins withdrew my two-year deal. I said, okay, that's fine. There are 31 other teams. Gallette went to Los Angeles and passed a physical for the Rams. He got a call from Seattle, so he hopped on a plane hours later, only to pass his physical and hear the same thing, crickets. Sean McVay in a press release stated that, yes, Junior Gallette came to LA, he passed his physical, but we didn't sign him for reasons we will keep inside. I still don't know the reason. That's when Gallette says he realized he was blackballed. He'd even reached out to NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell. Speaking about, hey, you came out, Roger Goodell, and said you're open to listen to the black players. We, the National Football League, admit we were wrong for not listening to NFL players earlier. About their struggles to kind of see their perspective, their perspective, and I haven't got a response. We are listening. I am listening. And I will be reaching out to players who have raised their voices and others on how we can improve and go forward for a better and more united NFL family. Junior has filed an arbitration with the NFL. We reached out to the NFL for comment and have not received a response. In the meantime, he's serving his New Orleans community and is developing his Junior Gallette Foundation, which intends to spread the message of unity. We recently launched my foundation, the Junior Gallette Foundation. Today is the first day, so we came here to the Household of Faith to provide free food, over 5,000 masks, uh, also protective, uh, personal protective equipment if you needed more masks, uh, hand, hand sanitizer, feel free to stop by. And as another NFL season opens, Galette is still staying in shape, hoping for a chance to be re-signed. For Inside Edition Digital, I'm Stephanie Officer.